This is my action plan for my summative in American history this year. And I'm going to start off with a research question that is a part of this criterion B. Um, so my research question is centered around the 1970s. It's why were women accepted to have jobs in the Vietnam War, but still discriminated against inside the United States of America and still not given the same job opportunities as men? So I created an action plan that not only goes over the research question, but also goes over up until the summative and what I've done so far. So my end goal is to obviously be able to answer this question through parts of the action plan, but also to have my broadcast assignment of, is, of this <laughs> um, finished by for today and have the summative presentation worked on and done by Saturday of this weekend and have it turned in by Monday. Um, so that's my end goal. Those are some of the steps. Um, so the list and steps I'm going to follow is to create that research plan, which I've already done, and do some research on it, just as part of the broadcast assignment. Um, but I do have a table of tasks and um, their due dates that I have completed, and one of them that I am working on, one, one of them that is due this evening at midnight. So the first assignment that we did was on Criterion A. It was a written analysis. It was due April 29th, which I completed. And then this broadcast assignment, which is on Criterion B, which I had to redo, but it was due May 6th, and now I'm just redoing it for today. And then the OPVL charts, which are also which are Criterion B, and they're due this evening. So I'm going to go over my research question and share my research on it. So the women were able to work as nurses, and some of them volunteered for organizations to help assist war soldiers in the war, the Vietnam War. So I have a quote from history.com. It is, women in the Vietnam War served as soldiers, health workers, and in news gathering capacities. The relatively little official data exists about female Vietnam War veterans. The Vietnam Women's Memorial Foundation estimates that approximately 11,000 military women were stationed in Vietnam during the conflict. So that just kind of gives us background that women were able to have some jobs and took part in the war. But, um, going back to my research question of why they're in the Vietnam War, but then out of it, they were kind of pushed back to, oh, be a mother, stay at home. Um, I have a primary source here from Miss Seaman, and she lived during the, she was a kid during the 70s, and she went over an article that she found, she wanted to learn more about it. So, she found a bunch of ads that all kind of gives evidence that during the 1970s, women were still not given the same job opportunity as men because they were um, pushed into just staying at home. So, one of the ad is, our Thursday food guide is for you because you're the smartest homemaker around. These were just ads that were targeted toward women, but they weren't. Like, oh, go get a job, help us out, stay at home, cook, you know. Another one read, she'll be happy if you give her an oven. And it's um, it has a caption of, here she is dutifully and joyfully in the kitchen, serving her guests with a man at the head of the ta at the table, and she's bringing him food. So this kind of um, shows um, some background, more background into the research question and kind of giving... Um, people an idea of why women weren't given the same job opportunities because they weren't really wanted in the job, although they served in the Vietnam War. And then last one is another reason why women didn't really have jobs after the Vietnam War after they had had a job during it. Um, so I have a quote by Miss Yellen, and it reads, One of the primary factors contributing to the failure of these highly skilled women to reach the tops of their professions and earn equal pay is that top jobs in fields such as law and business require longer work weeks and penalize taking time off. This would have a disproportionately large effect on women who continue to bear the lion's share of domestic and childbearing responsibilities. So that was kind of a point that I found that I did not know that that's a bit, also a big reason why women weren't really kind of, it was kind of something that forced women to not be able to
get jobs that they wanted because they weren't even given the opportunity to because these big jobs want to let them take time off so they really didn't have a choice in getting a job like that or not. So that just kind of goes over the research question that I created. Now back to the action plan and where I'm at. So um, let's see. So for a summary that I have made through all of the tasks and assignments I've done, it's kind of that um, there are tough aspects of the 70s, but since the Vietnam War had ended, that was kind of a good thing, a good light. But the economy did need to be built back up, and that is something that I will be doing cri the Criterion D assignment on. It's about the economy and inflation. Um, so the next step is of my action plan is continue to prior prioritize tasks and deadlines. So I did pretty good with them. I did make the mistake with Criterion B, so. That is why I am redoing it and turning it at 4 p.m. today. Also, later tonight at 11, I will have the Criterion D done. So that will leave me with other deadlines of over the weekend, working on my big presentation. Having it done by Monday, I think Wednesday is the latest to turn it in, but I have a goal for myself to have it done by Monday. Um, so my milestones, pretty much two big ones today with turning in both the assignments. And then the bigger slideshow presentation, having that done on Monday. So that means I'll have to work over the weekend to get it done. And that will be quick and easy and stress-free. Um, <clears throat> so the resources that I've been using throughout the assignments and for my summative are just a lot of online resources and websites. Websites that help me to get more information of the time period and just other things that I needed research on of answers that I did not know. Um, the last two steps in the action plan are visualizing the action plan and monitoring, evaluating, and updating. So for visualizing it, obviously I've thought it out, wrote it down, and I'm actually obviously making a video so I can reflect on it and look back on it and check off maybe on a list of what I've done and what I still need to do so that kind of that can help me continue to get to those goals and milestones at a good timing and then lastly for monitoring evaluating updating is that I have finished the other assignments and I'm on the road of finishing the criterion D which is due today so I've been pretty much up to date with all of my assignments so it's kind of how I'm monitoring myself and I'd say I'm doing pretty good besides the criterion B that I screwed up and um, so for updating at the moment doing well getting the assignments done and then I'll be able to have the slideshow hopefully done by Monday so that's my action plan with my little research question in there for the criterion B um, I have a work cited on my um, on my um, action plan document, so that is something to look over to get more information. But yeah, that's my action plan and my research question that I did some research on. So that is all.